Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for April 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person <coughs> to see what their uh, current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else do you guys need to know? look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? Tell me about uh, uh, Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo here. Over energies for Virgo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here for um, April 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Virgo. The Death card in the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Death card here. Strong Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. You might even have Scorpio in your chart. Seven of Swords here and the Five of Wands. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's incredi incredibly pissed off. That someone here lied to somebody here. And I feel like with the Page of Cups, someone here is just coming in, kind of playing it cool. Yeah. I, I, I do feel like, you know, after a breakup, someone here is reaching out to you. It's kind of like, hey, Virgo, what's up? You know, Eight of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. You know, um, this is so interesting because I feel like, you know, you might be dealing with someone here that's really delusional. And I feel like this person really believes their delusion is here. Yeah, this person really believes their delusions. Like, I feel like this person has a boatload, boatload of excuses. These excuses don't make sense. They're not rational or anything like that, but this person believes their myths, okay? The death card. With a tower, Aries, Scorpio, energy, the page of cups here in the Knight of Wands, yeah. Someone here is definitely coming in kind of playing it cool. Yeah. The Aries, Scorpio, energy with the tower, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. A strong Scorpio energy, like I said. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. You know, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. This is an individual that definitely runs around life in a way where, you know, they think that unicorns, rainbows, butterflies, a pot of gold is shooting out of their butts. I do feel like this person might suffer from some sort of mental health issue here too. Queen of Pentacles, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like this person's like really delusional. Yeah, this person's really delusional. It's kind of like, hey, how about the elephant in the room? It's like, what elephant? You know, you did this and that to me and this person, you know, I feel like this person does like really crazy things. It's like one moment they say something and then the, the next moment the story changes. You know, it's like saying that, you know, I had 10 horses, but you know what? No, I had, it's actually zebras. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo here? Yeah, it could be that you're trying to avoid this individual because, you know, I feel like this person drives you crazy. Um, yeah, I just feel like someone here is driving someone here bananas. Knight of Cups here and the King of Pentacles. We have the King to Queen of Pentacles here. So what we have here is I feel like this person is trying to romance you here, but you're trying to avoid this person because this person's starting to become a burden here or that this person's energy is just too much. Yeah, it's just too much. I feel like this person's kind of like, <laughs> you know? So the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. And the Six of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles. It seems like they're coming with some sort of apology. 
I do feel like this person's energy is kind of like almost, you know, this person might be a bit of a pathological liar here. The Knight of Swords, the Three of Wands here, Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Um, you know, I feel like this person has really broken your heart. Yeah, has really just, you know, hurt your self-confidence here. But I just feel like this person's in their own little world. You know, it's like, you know, you've done all this stuff to me, but they'll be like, no, actually, you did it to yourself. <laughs> or that, you know, I didn't do it, you know. And they'll always put it on somebody else, you know. Even though they, they've done these horrible things to you, they'll, they'll blame it on the, the, the Uber guy or something like that. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here. King of Cups. We have the King to the Queen of Cups. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. This is your true pair. So what we have here is I feel like this is an individual that wants to express like some sort of truth to you. But the thing is, I feel like the truth is really distorted for this individual. Yeah. Their truth is a bit distorted here. And I feel like, I just feel like there's an energy that this person has really driven you nuts. Or that you feel like you're going like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Justice, Libra energy. What else do we have here for Virgo? I'll come in advice here for Virgo regarding their uh, love situation. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on here for uh, April 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, four cups here and the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy, six of wands here and the world. And then we have the devil and the ace of wands. This person, I do feel like this person might have mental health issues here. Almost to the point, like for you, when you experience this, it's kind of like, it's almost scary. Yeah, it's almost scary. The Fool in the Four of Cups, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, Six of Wands here in the world. And then we have the Devil here and the Ace of Wands. Do you feel like this person's trying to come back to romance you here? I mean, this could be an indication that you're learning your lessons here and you're, you're wanting to move towards new love. Or that you're realizing that this is not going to be successful here, uh, Virgo. Six of Wands. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo. This person's really stuck in their ego here. I do feel like this person's really stubborn. It's like stubborn delusional. It's like kind of like almost like a willful ignorant here. Does that make sense? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the Empress here. Um, someone here could be dealing with a willful ignorant parent too. So that is coming up. So I feel like you, there, there might be a pattern of you attracting these types of individuals because I feel like you might have grown up in this type of environment, okay? So the Empress here, Libra Taurus, King of Wands, the Devil, and the Page of Wands, Ace of Wands here, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person's just all over the place here. Yeah, this person's just all over the place here. You know, you know, Virgo, I do feel like you're this feminine energy and I feel like you're moving towards your happiness and I feel like you're disengaging here. You just want to go out there, have a good time. You don't want to. This is this is really interesting, too, because I feel like when you go out, you run into this person all the time. Yeah, you run into this person all the time because I feel like you guys might live in a small town or something like that or a small city. All right. So, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.